Okay, folks, we're taking a jump here today. We're going to talk about how to multiply a monomial. Notice this is a monomial, it's just one term. And how to times that by a polynomial. And a polynomial, in this case, in your class, will never be bigger than three terms, which is called a trinomial. Now look down here. Is this a trinomial? No, it's not. It's it's a binomial. There's two terms. There's a 3x and there's a negative 2. Okay? So we're going to multiply this monomial by this two-term polynomial called a binomial. It sounds pretty crazy. Eh? If you go home talking like this, your parents will think you're crazy. Well, here are the rules for how to do such a thing. There's something called the distributive property. And sometimes it's easy it's easy just to remember it this way. It's like a bit of a party on the inside here. The person outside the house has to go inside and meet everyone from the party. So the 4x has to come inside and say, hello, how are you, to the 3x. And once they're done introducing themselves, the 4x has to go and meet the negative 2. Now, when they meet, well, boy, that doesn't sound quite right. But anyway, uh, basically, we're going to be multiplying. Okay, so it's 4x squared times 3x. Once you're done doing that, you're going to go 4x squared times 2. Okay, so let's practice that. When you multiply two monomials, which you do have some experience with already, you actually look at the first, the coefficient here. So you have 4 and we have 3. What's 4 times 3? That's right. Now here's the tricky part. You have to go x squared times x. It's different than adding, okay? You don't need to have a like term here when you're multiplying. With adding and subtracting, we needed like terms. Notice we are not worried about like terms anymore. We are multiplying. So you go x squared times x and you come up with x cubed, okay? And then you go 4x squared times negative 2. Well, first of all, it's a positive 4 and a negative 2. So your answer is going to come out as negative. What's 4 times 2? It's 8. And there, the x squared just stays with the 8 there. Okay? So that's how you multiply two monomials. I mean, a monomial times a polynomial. Let's try one more just to see if you've got this. Okay, remember the 2x is going to go inside the party to meet this. Remember inside here it's called the trinomial and the 2x is a monomial. We're not going to get more complicated than this in this course, okay? So if you can do this, you've got it made. 2 times 3, 6. x times x squared is x cubed. 2x times negative 4x, well, just start with the coefficients. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. x times x is x squared. Okay, and the last one, 2x times 8. Well, just take 8 times 2, which is 16. And don't forget this guy, he tags along. He stays with him. And that is x. Um, and that is done, you're done the question. Okay? Now, in case you're uh, confused about uh, how does x times x squared become x cubed, well, x, there's x, right, times x squared, isn't, the, isn't that the same thing as saying x times x times x? Isn't that the same thing? These two x's belong to this guy, and this x belongs to this guy, so isn't x times x squared the same thing as x times x times x? And isn't that the same thing as x cubed? Just in case you were wondering, um, I just wanted to quickly show how we came up with the x cubed there, in case you were watching this and saying, how are they doing that? Okay, um, I'm thinking Khan Academy does not have some good practice on this. So I'm either going to have to find something online or I might have a piece of paper for you to practice this some more because it's so important for you to get used to this. All right, good luck.